Today at the City Escape, we are kicking off summer with some spare ribs. Slow cooked on the Weber kettle right in time for Memorial Day. Stick around, you're gonna love this one. This is a rack of St. Louis cut spare ribs. You can tell by the rectangular shape. I really like cooking spare ribs even more than I like baby back ribs. And the first thing we're gonna do, just like baby back ribs, is remove that membrane on the back of the ribs. Just worm a knife under there and grab it with a paper towel and pull it right off. Now, I'm gonna just fast forward through this, but if there's any flaps of meat or fat, just pull those off and then apply your rub. And I'm not using a binder. A lot of people will use mustard as a binder here to help the, the rub stick to the ribs, but it's pretty warm out here. It's almost 90 degrees Fahrenheit. So there's some moisture already on the ribs and I think the rub's gonna stick fine. And you just put the rub on and you don't even have to rub it in. Even though it's called rub, just sprinkle it on and you'll be fine. And this rack of St. Louis cut spare ribs is ready for the Weber kettle. And here's the setup I'm using, upside down charcoal basket, charcoal briquettes, and a few chunks of hickory wood. Then light a tumbleweed below a half chimney of charcoal briquettes. Then about 10 minutes later, our charcoal is hot and ready to go. And then we'll just pour those hot coals in onto one side of the rest of the charcoal. And my favorite wood for cooking ribs is hickory. I love that bacon flavor you get from the hickory wood. So I would always recommend hickory, but other woods will be fine too. But for me, I'm all about the hickory when it comes to ribs. Add a probe so that you know the temperature of the grill. And then close the grill for just about two minutes. Open it back up and scrape the grates clean. And now we're ready to add our ribs. And from here, it's gonna be a good five hours before we put any ribs in our mouths. <laughs> close the lid, adjust the vents. It's pretty hot out today, so these vents have to close down quite a bit so that I can keep the grill somewhere around 250 degrees Fahrenheit. While the ribs begin to cook, I'm gonna make a concoction of equal parts apple juice, apple cider vinegar, and good old H2O. And shake that up. And here we are now about an hour into the cook. And you can do this every 45 minutes to an hour. Give your ribs a good spritz and that'll help keep them from drying out. Close the lid and keep on grilling. Another 45 minutes to an hour goes by. Hit them again. And you can see the ribs are taking on a nice mahogany color. They're picking up some of that smoke, some of that smoke flavor, some of that smoke color. These ribs are gonna be good. So now I'm gonna set up my tin foil wrap. I'm using some good Kerrygold butter. I love Kerrygold butter. If you've watched any of my videos before, you know that. Hit it with some of that spritz. And some more barbecue rub, or you could use brown sugar here. And I'm actually using a different barbecue rub than I did on the meat itself. 
but it really doesn't matter and it's all up to you whatever is your favorite use that and take the ribs off the grill and I'm gonna put them meat side down onto the tin foil and then on the bone side we're gonna do the same thing spritz butter and rub so I've got two layers of tin foil underneath the ribs meat side down and I'm placing one layer of tin foil on top of the ribs bone side up we're just gonna fold this tin foil into a nice packet to trap in all that steam that's gonna come off when we put these back on the grill. And that steam is really gonna tenderize these ribs. And then back onto the grill they go, meat side down for one hour. So three hours of smoke, one hour wrapped. So I'm gonna quickly show you the Thermapro digital thermometer that I'm using. So this is the main, the hub here. And you can see I'm running at 262 degrees. So this plugs in here it goes to a probe that's inside the grill right now and then this part here this is connected wirelessly so I can take this anywhere I want and you can see that it's kind of cool right here you've got probe 2 so I'm plugged in probe 2 over here it has two probes you can plug one in on this side if you want to measure the temperature of some kind of meat and then right here we've got a temperature set so probe 2 I've got the temp set at 275 so if this grill gets over 275 degrees this will start beeping and I can just take this with me and bring it over and have a seat go into another room go into the living room you know, I could be sitting somewhere else on the deck and so I'm not tethered to the grill, I can just take this with me. So it's pretty cool. And yeah, it's actually a lot of fun. So it's been an hour now that the ribs have been on the grill wrapped in foil. And I'm going to go ahead and take them out of the foil. super hot so it's a good time to use gloves and you got to be real careful here that you don't rip your ribs apart they are getting very tender at this point and there's a lot of juice here this is grease do not pour this grease over your ribs right now. If you do that, you're going to start a fire next time you start your grill. You're going to have a grease fire. And then we're going to fast forward through this and apply our barbecue sauce. I like a loose barbecue sauce. I don't like it very thick. Carefully flip the ribs. And I like to sauce both sides of the ribs. And look at that. Yeah, they're getting tender. Sauce both sides of the ribs. Nice light coat. You don't have to go too heavy here. And then we're going to close the lid and give this about a half an hour. So three hours of smoke, one hour wrapped, half hour with sauce, just enough time to let the sauce set. And here we are now with our final product. 
Spare ribs slow cooked on the Weber kettle. I am ready to cut these up and get them into my belly. Okay, so we have our spare ribs here. We're gonna take a look at these, see how well they came out. So they were on the grill three hours on the smoke, one hour wrapped, and then about a half an hour with the sauce. So we're gonna see how these came out. Try it right down here. Oh well, yeah, they're, they're definitely, look at that. The bone pulls right out of these. Really, really nice. Get a good shot of that. Try up here. Make a cut. They are a little hot. <laughs> Sometimes it's a little hard to find the proper cut. Let's give this a taste. That's a good looking rib right there. You can see the smoke ring. That is delicious. Comes clean off the bone. Look at that. Yeah, the sweetness of the sauce, the sweetness of the rub, the spices, the tenderness. But they're not like ridiculously fall off the bone. These are really good. Happy Memorial Day, everybody. Make yourself some ribs. That's how you do it on the Weber kettle. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below and let me know your favorite way to make ribs. And of course, keep on grilling.